Hi, my name is Jean-Claude Clark, and the purpose of this video is to give a step-by-step -step walkthrough of the Class C system design flow used for the design of our Class C power amplifier. So let's get right to it. So to start, we first specify our operating frequency at 6.78 MHz. Our selected device is from Infineon Technologies, and the Infineon MOSFET is shown here. We obtain the device parameters from the data sheet and chose a supply voltage of 36 volts and an output power of 20 watts from a range of acceptable supply voltages and output powers. These values were then entered into the Class C circuit design and synthesis tool provided by Keysight ADS as shown here. In the top left, we input the voltage and current device limits, the knee voltage, and the drain source capacitance from the datasheet. Below that, we enter the operating frequency of 6.78 MHz, input a supply voltage of 36 volts, set the output power to 20 watts, and then place the conduction angle at 180 degrees. The resulting idealized Class C circuit with its ideal components is then shown in the bottom left. With the circuit synthesized, we do a device reliability analysis on the drain currents and voltages as shown in the top right. As we can see, our peak currents and voltages are well within the device limits. In the bottom right is where we check the realizability of implementing a real circuit using the ideal circuit components. Here our selected conduction angle is within the range of conduction angles where Class C operation can occur using this particular device. Now that we have the ideal component values for our Class C circuit design, we then enter these values into our ideal schematic test bench shown here, and we run a harmonic balance simulation, and we generate the time domain current and voltage waveforms, as well as the frequency domain impedances for the fundamental 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th harmonics at the drain of the ideal MOS switch. Using these impedances as our target, we can output match our device such that its internal drain node exhibits the same impedances. Here is the circuit we use for output matching. And the first thing you will notice is the device's internal parasitic circuit network which we obtained from a SPICE model is pretty complex. We replace the BSIM3 MOSFET component with the current source as shown here, and we can also see the internal parallel drain capacitance. On the outside of the device, we have the external parallel capacitor, the phase shifting series inductor, the resonator circuit, a DC feed inductor, and the 36 volt power supply. We use a pi matching network composed of two capacitors and an inductor at the output. We then run an S parameter tuning simulation with the ideal impedances as target. With an X representing the ideal impedances and a circle representing the drain impedances of our optimized circuit, we can see that the fundamental impedances closely match and the second and third harmonic impedances are not too far off. With the output matched, we now move to the input. For our design, we have found that using a conjugated input matched sinusoidal gate driver, we can achieve a higher efficiency than using a square wave gate driver. Also note, the class AB gate driver with a 36 volt power supply has an output impedance of 27 ohms instead of the typical 50 ohms. This was done so that the gate driver and power amplifier use the same supply voltage. So on the input, we use the same pi matching network topology as the output. And we run the tuning simulation. And from the results, we see that the S21 gain is negative 10.9 dB and the S11 gain is negative 42.7 dB. We also have a stability factor greater than unity, which is desirable. 
Now that our circuit components have been finalized for our design, we run the harmonic balance simulation on the system and onto the final results. And the results show that we have designed a class E power amplifier with almost 90% efficiency and close to 18 watts of output power. At the internal drain node, we can see the current and voltage waveforms operating close to the ideal waveforms. And with that, we completed the step-by-step -step walkthrough of the Class C system design flow. Thank you for watching my video, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.